Okay, we've discussed the deadly herbivores before, before, from the deadly hippopotamus, from the cape of buffalo, to the rhinoceros, and a whole lot of dangerous herbivores. Herbivores, like zebras, they are dangerous mostly because they live in an live in an environment with some of the most deadliest apex predators. In the Cape Buffalo's cases, it's lion, lions. In rhinos' cases, they have to live in an environment with rhinos. And in Asia, they have to worry about tigers. Hippos' cases, no animal, no animal deals with a hippo. Not even crocodiles deal with hippos because they know a hippo will attack them if they get any closer. The Cape of Buffalo is different. It attacks anything it sees in its sight. Cape buffaloes are responsible for for trampling, goring, and killing around 200 people per year in Africa. Most of the people they kill or trample are hunters. So you don't want to hunt a Cape buffalo. Not even the mighty lion can handle this fearsome bovine. If in, and if lions do hunt Cape buffalo, they usually hunt them in groups or in coalitions or in reinforcements called prides. And it literally takes the biggest male lion to kill this wild, to kill this wild ruminant. Yeah, like cows, buffaloes are ruminants. Males have sh sharp horns with would a feet with a base refer to as a boss yes and they can even kill and intimidate lions lions when a herd member is attacked or a calf is attacked they will rush to its defense to to try to protect the calf or or just any or just any part of their herd they are especially they are especially violent towards hunters who try to hunt Lions are only are uh, only adult adult buffalo's only predator. L lions, leopards, and hyenas will usually kill calves or weak members of the herd. Lions they can kill an adult only thanks to them living in groups. Otherwise, they would just be like the leopards and the hyenas hunting only young calves or sickly sickly buffaloes. And they live in herds like hippos, which only makes them more dangerous. Male and females both have horns, both have horns, but the horns on males are larger than the horns of females. Also in males, also in males, their horns can fuse and in, fuse into a shield like structure, referred to as a boss. I'm just gonna snack on some cereal that my <sighs> Mmm. 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 So good. Mmm. Back to the buffalo. Back to the buffalo. And yes, lions do manage to hunt this wild ruminant, but only because they live in groups. Lions, yeah, lions live in groups, kind of similar to, hy to hyenas, wolves, and orcas. They all live in reinforcements, and some male cheetahs live in coalitions with other male cheetahs, sometimes their brothers. The African buffalo is a dangerous prey for lions because they will usually team up against a single lion and attack them. But it's not even the lioness which, which brings the buffalo to the floor, but it's the armored male who does the deed. deed. So even when all the female lionesses try to, try to surround the beast and try to kill it, it's actually the male who does the final blow to the buffalo. Because of course, because of course, a buffalo can cripple a much smaller lioness. But lions being much bigger than lionesses, yeah, it's not going to be good for the buffalo. This video is by BBBC Earth. Thanks for the amazing video. Like I said, the, this, the, like I said, they are malicious and ferocious. It's not even a, not even a lion, hyena, or a crocodile can scare away this fearsome bovine. Bovine, as you can see, a mother is trying to protect her, trying to protect her calf from bloodthirsty hyenas. Hyenas, similar to lions, they work in packs, but unlike lions, it's the female who is bigger than the male, and she's more dominant. 
and the female hyena has a pseudo has a pseudo penis penis that she uses to give birth and assert dominance. But they are malicious and they will defend their they will defend their calves from literally anything. Hyena, lion, crocodile, you name it. This video is by Larry Eagle. Just in case you want to find the video. Because I usually don't like put tags for the people who own the video or made the video. So sorry about that. There are other mammals, other ruminants, commonly caught buffalo, like the American bison. It's not technically, it's technically inaccurate to call them buffalo because they're more related to yaks and other ruminants than they are to buffalo. So it's not technically wrong to call them buffalo. Sometimes I even mistake them for buffaloes and call them buffalo. <laughs> They are herbivorous animals, and males are typically larger than females. And here's how you di differentiate a male from a female. Males are larger. Females usually have curved horns. And they approach the rut season. And rut, and a rut is like when a male animal goes crazy and just wants to mate with a female. He, he's, he is horny crazy for his females. A rut is also something moose do, and camels. Bison are herbivores and eat mostly grass. Fun fact is, they won't eat alfalfa or hay, but once all the grass is gone, the bison will eat the hay or alfalfa. Hay is basically dried up grass, but it looks like kind of yellowish. It's primarily, it's primarily used to feed grazing animals like horses, cows, and goats and other domesticated animals also bison have not been domesticated so you can't ride them like you ride horses elephants or camels not included donkeys even though people do ride donkeys i'm not gonna talk about donkeys because i hate them people need to appreciate horses more than donkeys like you see horses get abused so why don't you save the horses so during the rut males will basically fight one another so they can so they can mate with all the females. So males are called bulls, females are called calves. I mean yeah, calves. The baby are called calves. The female is called a cow. And they are capable of running quite fast for their size. For their size. They don't have few predators because of their fearlessness and their massive size. But bears but bears will usually kill bison. And they can kill adults just like they can kill moose. Moose. But also they might go for weaker and smaller calves. Bears aren't the only predator of these wild ruminants. North American ruminants. They don't don't have to worry about bears. They also have to worry about the biggest the biggest cat in South America. Or the biggest cat in North America. Also, it's I'm not talking about a jaguar. Completely different cat. The cat can't even roar. Not talking about a cheetah either. Not talking about a caracal. Not talking about the house cat either. I'm actually talking about the cougar. Cougar, probably the third. No, not the third. Probably like the fifth largest cat. Or fourth largest cat. Only after the lion, the tiger, and the leopard. But they think cougars are slightly bigger than leopards. And also in the fight between a puma and a lion, if it was a female lion, the female lion would come out victorious. But if it was a male, different story. The male will, will destroy, will destroy the poor cougar. And since male lions have manes, yeah, it helps. It helps them when fighting animals like hyenas. Because, like, the predator can't bite their vital areas or bite their neck. Like. Cougars are large felines, but they are not able to roar. They're kind of like cheetahs. Cheetahs once lived in North America. So there are some similarities between do these two kittens. Although, cougars are generally larger than, than cheetahs. They're also not part of the Panthera genus like other big cats are. Cougar is actually related to your house cat. 
or the cheetah. Their closest relative is the cheetah and the jaguar rundi, the jaguar rundi cat. Cougars are perfectly are 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 perfectly adapted to a cold life and a cold environment. Like snow leopards, they live up in mountains, and not only can they kill bighorn, they can also hunt armadillos, skunks, and all their small mammals. They can even take out moose, which I find which I find impressive, since moose are large and they can kill a bear if they wanted to. The cougars manage to kill them somehow. And mountain lions do this like weird scream. Scream! If you heard it, you would probably think at first glance it's a woman screaming for help. But it's actually cougars. Females do this when they're ready to mate with a male. And the male will breed the females. <laughs> if you ever hear this sound. You wouldn't want to hear that sound in the middle of the night or at 3 a.m. Since that's the devil hour. The devil's hour. They also see, keep seeing this these weird grimace memes where people try the grimace milkshake. And they all, all of a sudden, they have purple glue, purple goo, like, dripping from their mouths. And they're in this, like, half-dead state. I don't know if it's a meme or is it real. Pretty sure it's a meme or a trend. Anyways, I might try the Grimace milkshake. It depends on how much likes this get. Probably have to go to McDonald's. McDonald's, by the way, I don't know about you, but I always want meat and cheese. Because I'm not a ketchup, mustard, or mayonnaise, or mayonnaise fan. I want meat and cheese. Sometimes they accidentally put ketchup on my burger. And when they do, I go ballistic. Back to Cougars. Like cheetahs, cougars can't roar. They can hunt bighorn sheep. They can also hunt moose. And they can also hunt donkeys. There seems to be this misconception that leopards fear donkeys. Anyways, I don't think leopards fear donkeys. I mean, even cougars have been known to prey on donkeys. Honestly, I don't really care what happens to donkeys. I hope they're going extinct too. I hope you guys like this video. I hope donkeys go extinct. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!